Good afternoon, people. I was going to say happy Sunday, but when you watch this, it won't be Sunday. But we are having a Sunday. A nice family Sunday. Today, for Sunday lunch, we're having lamb chops. What are we having? Lamb chops, lamb ribs, pork souvlaki. Pork souvlaki, lamb chops, lamb ribs, homemade chips, bread. Are you making that salad in that bread? Yeah. So, George going to make a salad and put it in this bread. Should it not have been hot? Um... No. No, you know, like crusty. Well, the, I, I don't, I've not got a bakery, so no, that's just... what I'm given. No, oh, all right then. Just asking, Chef. No, but I don't understand. I can't. No, I'm just saying race. it might soak through. No, that's the point. Oh. I'll toast it on the garden. Okay, the kids are out playing in the garden. George is about to marinate some meat. What, what is this? Um, these are lamb ribs, but I always just score the the fat at the top. Just let it cook better. Okay. Disclaimer, this isn't a recipe video because one, we're not chefs and two, we just, we just wing everything. Yeah, we so do we're actually. not actually chefs. But I can say to you, yeah, I put olive oil, I put this, I put that. Well, to be honest, you don't really need that much on it. It still tastes good. I know, but you need to put a bit of olive oil, a bit of oregano, whatever. Okay. Lemon juice. We'll, we'll be back with the steps. Oh, your fingers are going to stink. Right, marinade time. Okay, so I just, well... Not really a thing, but I just put a bit of olive oil because they're fatty enough. Um, oregano, or garlic. That is a lot of garlic. I know, but we're not leaving them for hours and hours. Mm. Lemon, Lemon juice. juice. Do you need to put mint with it being lamb, or is that no, just for a roast? It's not a roast dinner, it's not Christmas Day. Alright. <laughs> What, that's it? Well, yeah, I put salt as well, but... Any pepper? No. The one thing I cannot stand is using garlic with my actual fingers after I rubber gloves because it just lingers on your fingers for ages. I bet your fingers will still smell tomorrow. I know, but the thing is, right, I'll tell you something about... Life? No, it was more about, I was going to say foreign people, but I don't know if that's the right <laughs> way to say. It, it, you know, people from different countries, they're not bothered. This is their life. This is what they do. They don't wear gloves. They don't, you know, use tongs. They don't, you know, they're not bothered because that's their life. That's how they grew up. They grew up in villages eating snakes, you know. No, I don't ca think they did. Catching snakes. Oh, he always has they're to not, exaggerate. If they're not one... bothered about garlic on the hands or... Anybody you know, that knows onions. George knows that he likes to add a little bit of salt and pepper to a story. I don't think they used to eat snakes. Well, <laughs> I was going to say, he's chickens. No, you can't say that word, I don't think. <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, right, that's that. I was going to ask a question about that. <laughs> Now you've made me forget. Have you put pepper? Have I asked you no, that? No, I don't put pepper. All right, it, just ask it. It's him. not a uh, steak. All right, we'll see, if it, we'll see if we'll see what you do next. Uh, I'm gonna cut the pork, but I'm gonna do that outside. Oh, for what reason? Um, just because I've got more space. Let's see the pork before you go. Well, it's not just normally I buy pork belly for stuff like yeah, but the butcher was being. Bit of a don't say bit, anything bad anyway awkward so i just bought shoulder and i got some belly pork slices but yeah it's not just for us we've got who've we got coming george's sister think. we think george's sister and her three we say kids they're all adults well they want to be otherwise we're gonna have waste no, we'll, we'll have to give it to next door's dog right i think it's gonna rain you know well maybe it's probably coming outside talking Oh, maybe it'll stop you coming outside talking to me. Well, I have to come and talk to you because I'm the videographer for today's video. I saw this thing on YouTube and it's it's called a meat accordion. One in you can get any meat. I don't know about chicken, but yeah. and then you get 
and you get the meat and then one side has to be diagonal and then the other side is just straight down yeah. and then you can pull it and then it's like an accordion but it's meat yeah and you cook it like that yeah and that's what you want to do yeah I might have to go outside. I would like to know why none of you kids have got a coat on. Who's sleeping? You need a coat on? Everyone needs a coat on or they're going inside. Yeah, because you, you came outside with coats on and now you're dancing around <laughs> like it's a spring day. It's a bit dark. Let's get some lights on. I think it's going to chuck it down. It's not forecast rain, but it looks as if it's going to. I've just snuck into the living room to show you my outfit of the day because... Uh, this jumper is a winner. I know this is a cooking video and my jumper's got nothing to do with it but I'm going to show you it anyway because nothing's really happening in the cooking stages right now. Also, just a disclaimer, if you want um, to watch YouTube content that's dreamy and perfect and well edited and calming, we're probably not the family for you. Anyway, this is my jumper. It's so, so soft. It's from Tesco. I can't remember the price of it, but with it being Tesco, it's not going to be a lot. I think this is called Far Isle. I'm sure it is. Um, pinks, browns. It's like, one minute, flecked. And it's like, oh, I've put you in the wrong place. I need a spot. I need to figure out a spot in my house. I'm going to shut that door because you can see the mess in the hallway. So we'll pretend that's not there. This is my jumper of the day. Do, 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 do. This is the length of it. Can tuck it up like that, but I think it makes me look bigger than what I am. And we don't need to be doing that. And a pair of jeans. Back to the cooking. So this is, I would say our, but it's George and Andrea's outdoor kitchen. It's kind of like a shed. It's got five. Ah! You what? It's not a shed, it's a kitchen. Well, it's the kitchen in a shed. The food is not working. It's got uh, bifold doors. Different He's got shed. a sink with a tap. Here he is cutting the pork. Right, then we go. Extraction. Andrea, why don't you show me what else we've got? So, um, we've got the extractor fan. Yeah. And then the fugal, this is the main thing. Which is a fugal, what is that translated, please? Barbecue. Barbecue, yeah. And we've got two. We've got two. Yeah, that's the chimney thingy, Bubba Bobby. But you put the we've got a deep fat fire to cook chicks outside because oh, yeah. I don't like the smell of it in the kitchen. And then these are the grills that, so like... Yeah, we don't have to take them out. Okay, you don't have to take them out. So these small ones go along here and then... This one you have to get the skewers from in there. Right, and then we've got a cupboard here, and you have to fridge the, and a freezer. You have to put them here and then you put the, that big grill on top of the skewers there. Right, brilliant. Thank you very much. I'll be back in a bit because it's cold outside. I'm going in. Here you go, dear. Thank you. You're welcome. Andrea? Yeah. I think you should have a um, coat on now, not a gilet. Mm. It was forecast to be bright and sunny today and now it's started raining. It's only drizzle, but the temperatures have dropped. It's a bit chilly. Men in their natural habitat, staring at lumps of coal. Just for the record, the title of this video is probably going to be Cook With Us, but I'm not actually doing any cooking. I normally, on a Sunday, if they're doing the meat outside, inside my job is roast potatoes or mashed potatoes, veg or rice, but he wants to do homemade chips outside in the fat fryer thingy, my Bob. So I'm not actually doing any cooking. Never mind, I'm going to enjoy my tea, if you can sit, in fact, I'm just going to show you. Should I show you or not? No, you don't need to see the mess in the kitchen. The kitchen is a big mess. I've got piles of washing that need to go away, so... Oh, he's shouting me. Come in. 
Okay, so now I'm just gonna blanch some chips. What does that mean? Blanch means just like half cook them. For what reason? Um, just better. <laughs> oh. Better chips. Yeah, but so you're gonna, because obviously, George, you've got a fish and chip shop, but other people might not understand what you're doing. Okay, if you blanch chips, you half cook them. Yeah. Let them cool Before down and then finish them after and then they're quicker. But where, when they're cooling down, do you leave them in that oil or do you...? Well, no, we don't because then they'll carry on cooking. Ah, oh, right. Take them out, put them in another tub, uh, oh, tray or whatever, and that's it. Alright. Thank God this is being cooked outside because it stinks. Mm. Ugh, the chip shop, the fish shop's even worse. Is it? What does that smell like? Fat. Oh gosh. Tastes good though. Yeah, it does. Okay, so Andrea's gonna light the garvana, which is the charcoal. Let's go for it. To put your garvana on top. Come to do it. Come on. Trick it in. And then we'll just wait now. We're doing Andrea's small fogo because he wants to use that one and then we'll use my big one. Like them. Put our chimney on top, and then they will light. I think it's better. Can I just check? Can you see me on the camera? Yeah. Okay, so now Greek salad. Everything is chunky. This is what we do. I do anyway. Uh, cucumber, skin it, uh, and everything just chunky. Yeah, I like to skin it because it's just easier. What do you want? A drink? Yeah. There you go, there's a drink. What do you say? The thing about village food is it's very rough, rough and raw. It's oil, it's oily. Yeah, but it's, it's no, no, not just oil. Everything's Nothing's um, perfect. Oh, the oil is so light. Yeah, I make sure when we're inside it's so oily. Andrea, get that drink off her, please. Uh, yeah, vine tomatoes always as a standard. Uh, That's my favourite bit. Tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, red onion. But I don't put don't food use. Food. Green, put in Andrea. Don't put feta in the salad. Yeah, we're gonna put feta, but just on top, and then it doesn't crumble up. Cause I don't really like it crumbled up either. But we don't dress the salad straight away. We dress it just before we need it, cause we don't want it to go soggy. Dressing, we put olive oil, salt, lemon, oregano. And that's the base. And then just fill it up with the rest. Lemony. Make sure you put the olives. I wash all my salads. Always have to wash your salad. Even when it says, oh, you know, you buy them bags of lettuce and they say pre washed, whatever they say. No, don't trust no one. I think that's another Greek thing. We don't trust anybody. Okay. Can I pinch your back off? Go on. Then we just dress it after. Jobs are good. Salt, oregano, lemon, olive oil. Ciao. 
Oh God, I'm sorry. Some of you might find this. <laughs> some of you, I've got bread in my teeth. You might find this really disgusting, but the inside of the bread dipped in a bit of butter. So good. Why is bread and butter? Literally one of the best things in life. Like, you can have fancy meals. Sorry, I'm, too, I'm talking while I'm eating. One second. <laughs> you can have fancy meals, you can go to the best restaurants, but sometimes there's nothing better than bread and butter. How is it going to go? Oh, it's a bit sunny now. The rain's gone and the sun's come out. Chips are blanched. Yep. What are you doing that for? Because when the charcoal's too hot, we use old charcoal to cool it down. Oh. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. The meat's going on, people are arriving, it's nearly time to eat. It's a bit smoky, Andrea, what's going on? I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. You don't know what's happening. So, the, oh, you're putting the meat in there? Yeah. I thought you were putting the salad in there. In the other one. Oh. The bread is on the grill to get a bit tougher on the bottom, and the meat is, oh God, I can't wait to eat that when all the juice is soaked into the bread. Chips are chipping away. And um, what else is going on? Andrea's picking at some lamb. I'm gonna go and set the table. What life for? Is that just going on one? Yeah. One with, one without. Hungry Valentina? No. Oh. I'm thirsty. You've just had a drink. No, I haven't. Is that a Lambros? Right, dinner is served. We've got, what's in there? Oh, chips. Chips, salad, bread, meat. More meat, more bread, more meat, more meat, some more salad with some feta. What's Let's go. I hate humans. I like, yeah. I'm gonna have, where's the lamb chops? Oh, lamb chops. Okay. Lamb chops. Lamb chops, my favourite. Is that nice? Bit of salad. Mama. Yes, my honey. You know when you're moving house? Yeah. You will put the clothes in the suitcases and then just go. You put the yeah, you would. But what if you've got too many clothes? You put it all the time. Bye. Thanks for watching. No, not peekaboo. Go and eat your dinner. Peekaboo. <laughs> Did you enjoy your meal? Yeah, great. <laughs> what yeah. me? Very enthusiastic. Peekaboo. It's just a lot in it. <laughs> what, living in this house? No. <laughs> Sorry, I know I said bye, but we're making the most of the leftovers. Tomatoes on the salad, peppers, onions, garlic, roasted them. We're doing a Megan McKenna. And we're going to make a dip.